I guess at some point every single society in the world uh, throw whole, the whole story of humanity needs to believe in something else. I mean, sometimes in my hometown it's like these ghost stories, but in contemporary big cities it's like yoga and astrology. I mean, like everyone needs to... I think, I think this is important for people to, to bring some epic and poetic in their everyday life, which is kind of hard. My name is Elena Lopez Riera. I'm director of a film uh, called El Agua, uh, The Water in English. And it's a film that I shot in the small town in the south of Spain where I was born and raised. And it's it about uh, the flood uh, that came every five, 10, 50 years and that uh, flood the whole village under the water. And it's about also all the mythology that is uh, around, surrounding this, this uh, phenomenon and how this mythology is linked with uh, women. Cuando mi abuela me dice que se bañaban aquí en el río, yo flipo la vida. Yo no me baño aquí ni aunque me paguen 100 euros. Si este río está maldito. 1545, Riada de San Lucas. 1651, Riada de San Calixto. 1663, I've been raised by women mostly, by my grandma, my mother, my aunt, and all they told me a lot of those mythologies, of, of those stories that uh, make me think about the writing a film. So <laughs> we can't say that there's something about my own personal life uh, because I, I really, I really rise in, in, the, in this place. But then I also write and figure out a story. Parece que viene el agua, abuela. Ya lo sé, hija, ya lo sé. Espera. ¿Es verdad eso que dicen de tener el agua dentro? Es que últimamente siento que me ahogo. Aquí todo el mundo se ahoga. Pues vámonos de aquí. Todo el que entra en esa casa termina escalado. De ahí no sale mujer buena. Como sea igual que la madre, nos la apoyamos todos uno detrás de otro. I was raised in this society very close to Catholicism and the old tradition and came with Catholicism also the male and female gender roles. Uh, so I think in a, I think I cannot get out this story from my inconscience. <laughs> I mean, I, I, would, I would be a liar if I would say, oh, now I'm, I'm living in Switzerland and I forgot everything. I mean, it's not that, I think it's not that easy to get out from your from your heritage, but um, I think we have the right also to look back with a critical point of view, from a, a critical point of view, and this is, I think, I guess I, I'm doing with this film. Espera un poco, un Para llevarte mi felicidad